everyone, Elvira here. I hope everybody's having a blessed Saturday morning. So we're back on. We're going to do our spaghetti. And everybody, and I'm going to the OSU Penn State game, tailgate party. So I'm excited. So, but this is my book. It's doing well. It's been out a year now. Getting ready to do the second one. So I looked at 310. I was down at 140 there. And then me down to the, all my weight off. It's taken me six years, no Botox, no plastic surgeries, no gastric bypass surgery, no nothing, people. Uh, I just eat healthy and work out. That's how it works. And we're gonna do a spaghetti. Now, I already made my spaghetti noodles, and this is why I tell people. When I first started, I couldn't afford it, so I used the uh, package spaghetti, you know, like the, you get in the package. I use that, but now I make my own, okay? And one day I'll come on and I'll show you all how I do the spaghetti noodles, you know. But I make my own spaghetti noodles. Now, I don't buy them in a store. Um, when I first started, I, believe me, it was hard. You know, I was 310 pounds, people. I was fat. Now I'm all there. I'm the queen. I'm every man's desire. I'm in your dreams. And I'm everywhere. And I'm gorgeous. Now I'm happy with myself. You know, I love myself because I love being pretty again. I love having the heads roll when I walk in. And uh, stuff. Because I got picked on a lot. But uh, this is a great spaghetti. I use the vegetables. Again, you're going to see I use the same vegetables. Now, the reason I use the same vegetables is because it helps with the immune system. It keeps the immune system up. When you use processed stuff, that's not good. Okay? Uh, that's not good for you at all. And I don't really, uh, the only thing I use is canned tomato sauce. Okay? But I use low sodium on that. And stuff. So, and I don't brown in oil either. Okay? I do not. I use Worcestershire and lemon juice, okay? But these are our fresh vegetables, spinach, carrots, celery, sweet pepper, mushrooms, avocado, and tomatoes, okay? Over here, I've got some fresh parsley, some fresh mint, onion, garlic, and our ground turkey. Now, I use a half a pound of ground turkey. Now, if you want, you could use more, you know, depending on what you're gonna do. Now, for me, it's perfect, okay? So, you're gonna use one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now, I do not measure, I just, but I tell people to measure, you know, because I don't. And I use ground turkey. If you want to use uh, something else, you can. Just change the calorie count. I use ground turkey or ground chicken because that's all I use because of my health. Okay. I've had some issues with my leg this last month, and they weren't really sure. And I'm pretty sure now it might have just been gout. We don't know. So, but. We're going to use some garlic powder. Ground cumin. A little bit of sea salt. Sea salt, I'd use a teaspoon on all of them, but you're going to season to taste. Okay. Um, basil. And I'll tell you, this turns out really good. Red pepper flakes. I was just at the store because I had to get... Oh, and there's celery in there, too. And I had to get some celery. And somebody's like, what are you making tonight over there? I said spaghetti. And I'm like, I'm coming over. <laughs> I thought I'd take some more to the store. Accent. Italian seasoning. Seasoned salt. Pepper, onion powder, all right. When you, when you first start out, it's it, you're going to have to take you take it in baby steps, okay? It's not like you're going to lose the weight tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. I've been at this six years, okay? Um, this year I took some time off because um, people were asking, you know, like, does it matter? I noticed when my leg, I had a thing on my leg, and we thought put muscle when they think it might have been gout. Not really sure, but it ended up, it finally went away, and I took some time off, and I cut back on 
instead of running the mile in like 10, 15 minutes, I took 16 minutes, you know, I walked a little bit of it and stuff. And uh, sometimes my trainers would say, oh, I'm just very excellent, baby. No, I hurt. And I could tell I hurt. And I knew I was hurt, so. And when it happened, and I'm still drinking my 15, people, my second one for today. And stuff, so. And this is a nice thing, too. With ground turkey and ground chicken, there is no grease. Okay, I've even used venison, ground venison before, but I haven't had anybody that's did it. Now this year, I'm hoping I can go hunting because I told somebody they gotta get me a deer. I love cooking venison. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and do um, our veggies. So, and when I first started, um, I'll be honest with you, it was hard. I used to you get as you get going on it it's nice because you finally get um you really really learn like your your self-endurance you know how much you can stand and believe me my body this week i actually pulled 185 four deadlifts but no problem i just said angels and god help me here and i got through it you know um it was a lot harder than i thought but i got through And if you don't cut the spinach up, it really don't matter because it cooks to nothing anyways. And I find that since I've really lost the weight, people more respect me, but I still have a lot of jealousy and stuff. Um, just people, you know, trying to just destroy me because they're jealous. Well, that's on them. You know, I did this for me because I wanted to be healthy because I got really sick and stuff. And that's the thing, you want to do it for yourself, people. People also ask me, why do I tie my hair? When I'm in the kitchen, people, I always tie my hair up because my hair is very long. And I don't want hair in my food. So... And you'll see that the reason I do the fresh vegetables, again, it's for the immune system. You want a good immune system, especially with winter coming and stuff like that. People have a tendency to get sick. Eating processed food is not the right way, you know. Um, people have asked me that, and I said no. You know, I, I don't believe in that, you know. Um, it's not good for you, and it's not good to eat. Sorry, I already cut a while ago so I just gotta throw it in the bowl. And I, and when you get healthy you feel a lot better too. Um yeah I do last night uh I was all I was home. Believe it or not, I left early this morning. I was supposed to go back because I was going to watch the game. And I told him I was coming up to watch the game. And then I was supposed to go to the island, but I didn't really want to run into someone, so I didn't get on the boat. I told him I wasn't coming over. Because my friends had a tailgate party over there. They lived there. And I said, no, nah, I just didn't want to do that. Because I, I pulled out really early and they're like how in the hell can you do that it's like I do people I just get up and go but see before I wouldn't been able to do that now that I, I've lost all the weight I can sleep four hours and go down the road and, and still be okay you know now before could I do that no yeah I couldn't so I see the difference in my health you know and my immune system and all that Everybody always tells me at home, I'm batshit crazy, but they love me to death. Like one night I had to get in the freezer, they, they were like, a fire, you're, we, you got, you're tiny enough, and I had to get in there because of the way they had stuff. 
they laugh because my hands are so small. But people, back in the day, I was really heavy. And believe me, I was sick all the time. So this year, I really had fun. I truly did because, you know, I was a boy toy to someone. It was like, hmm. I still had a good summer, you know. Um, it is what it is. You can't really change things, you know. And that's like going to this party this afternoon. I'm just going for a while with some friends. Um, I'm not really... I'm just going for a while with some friends, you know. Just to get out of here for a while. Because I really, down here, I'm always just cooking or working, you know. Or cut your hand. You already did that once, you dummy. Just different cuts this time. Change our cuts up a little bit. But once you get a good immune system, that's the key. Um, if you can get a good immune system, then that's what you want because that's the whole key to staying healthy and taking your vitamin C. And I take a vitamin C and D a day. Um, and I learned, I took some courses, just like people know back when COVID was here. And I learned things, you know, that's how I learned how to call it calories, carbs, fats, and proteins and stuff. I actually took a course on it. It trains you. Second, I learned about the vegetables. You know, hey, if you use certain vegetables, it boosts up the immune system. That's why I use the same vegetables all the time. And he just incorporated a little different, <coughs> excuse me, different seasonings. Excuse me, something else. And stuff like that because you want to have a good immune system, okay? Especially in the wintertime because I'm telling you, in the wintertime... It gets you. And I've had it. You know, I've had some issues with stuff. And this year, I've really kept up on my stuff. You know, I've really put myself number one. And trying to stay more healthy because last year I had some issues. And I didn't want to have that issue today. And when I first started, I was sick all the time. This last year is probably the best year that I've had where I haven't had... Uh, a lot of health issues, you know, so. I just gotta make sure I don't cut my fingers because I've done that a few times. And people have asked me, you know, how long did it really take? It took me the full six years. Uh, Probably in the first three years, I had most of it off, but the last 30 was the hardest for me. And now the hardest part for me is to maintain. And then I was talking to somebody the other day about, because I kept losing, they think it's just because of all the stress I've been under at work. And I'll show you people, this cooks it right down. Um, after I get done here, I'll show you how all cooks down, and it does really well. And people have asked me too, uh, when I first started, it was more just trying to eat healthy, you know? Um, I really didn't eat a lot of processed food. The problem I had, I just didn't eat right. So that was my issue. Uh, I used food as a crutch. Um, so like if I get depressed, I would use food as a crutch, okay? That's where I made a mistake, you know? And, and I don't do that now. That's where I made the mistake. And then I just let myself go. You know, I don't do that anymore. You have to put yourself number one. You have to realize, hey, I want to get the weight off. You know, I want to look good. I want to feel good. You know, because I'm going to tell you, being sick all the time isn't fun. And that's what I had a lot. And now that I don't have that, it's much be it's much easier for me. You know, I like going to the store and buying medium clothes, you know, because I'm so tiny. And it's great. You know, it's really super great. And here I'll show you over here what it looks like see it, see it's all cooked into the meat and that's what you want see you want it to cook into the meat 
and stuff. So that's what you do, okay? And then we'll add in our veggies. And then we'll add our tomato sauce. And you can add the tomato sauce first and then do it. But I've learned some techniques over the years which works better and which don't. And I find that if you put the veggies in and mix it first, it actually works better to get everything mixed up. And then add the tomato sauce. And then we're going to add our seasonings again. cook healthy instead of just running out and eating processed stuff all the time because it's not worth it you know it's not really good for you um you know i cheat like last night i got me okay people last night i got me a big box big thing of fries okay because when i was home then i went home crashed and then i got up super early this morning when i realized i got invited to a party and it's like hey all right i can pull out And did I want to go to the island? Yeah, but I just didn't want to deal with something, so I just decided not to go. Because I was going to stay over at my friend's house. They got a house over there. And they had a really big party. But I'm sort of glad I came home and we're going to this party because it's just much easier. I don't have to drive tomorrow. So I can just pretty much sleep in and whenever I get up, I get up. And people, I'll be honest with you, the life that I have today, God has really blessed me because when I got sick six years ago, I never thought that I'd get as far as I did, you know, and people really liked my book. I was, it, when I was in the bar yesterday, people were like, you know, we're going to have to check your book out, you know, and they're amazed at what I did with no surgery. They're just really stunned, you know, so... See, I mean, people, it mixes much better. So, yeah. And the book's doing really well. Now, why are you wearing it? And then when I come back, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. And also at the end, I add some Parmesan cheese and sour cream and I'll show you how I do that but I always take when I when I come back on you'll see that I'll take some of the sauce out and put it in a bowl and so that when I come back on the sour cream is already in there the two tablespoons that I'm going to use but I whisk it in yeah you know, whisk it together but I make sure that the sauce the tomato sauce is uh you know cool because you don't want it to get lumpy or curl or curd and sometimes I've even seen it curl really bad so I'm gonna add all our seasonings again The only thing I do not re-add is the iodized sea salt. I don't add that a second time. And like I said, I just season to taste. That's how I do it. And my food is not bland. Uh, I've had people try it. Uh, this particular spaghetti, um, I had this, a recipe for it, but I changed it a little bit. So... And stuff but the seasonings there's one seasoning that I use this poppy seed but I didn't know that poppy seed can uh, test you positive <laughs> on a drug test and one of my friends is a truck driver so they're coming over tonight to eat a couple people and stuff and after the game there a bunch of people are coming over and I had to eliminate my poppy seed because they said hey if we get stopped for drug test I said oh okay so I didn't know so and stuff so it's like all right I swear I, every time I'm in the kitchen I make a mess I did do that one time people I gotta tell you I was at somebody else's house. I used every freaking pan I cooked that day, and I didn't know how to use a dishwasher. And uh, they had to show me how to use the dishwasher. I have one, and I've never used it here. I, I just do everything by hand. He looked at me sort of strange. 
hey, it is what it is. That's why when I come on, I try to keep my kitchen clean because it doesn't stay clean very long when I'm working in it. So now we're going to put the lid on and we're going to let it cook, let the vegetables cook down, you know, get soft and everything. And then I'll be back with the calorie count and stuff and uh, show you what it looks like when it's done. And then add our Parmesan cheese in there and our sour cream. So we put the lid on here and let it cook. And I need to get a plate out so I can put this Where's the lid on our... So we're going to put the lid on and let it cook now, and then I'll be back with the calorie count and everything else. See you soon. And don't forget to put yourself number one. Keep God and the angels in your life and realize that you can get the weight off. You can look as gorgeous as Elvira. And I'll see you soon. Bye.